Right, folks, back again, and um, I'm going to do, as you have seen from the thumbnail and the title of this video, it's going to be a pizza, but on a naan bread, right? Uh, there's a lad at work, uh, and he sent a picture on our WhatsApp group of a pizza naan. Now, I thought he'd actually made this pizza naan, and I thought, fucking hell, Booker, that looks good. I'm going to do that on my channel. So I looked up the recipe for pizza nan, or nan pizzas, or whatever they are, and um, it was a picture off the BBC website. So I don't know whether Bucky had made it, or he'd seen the picture and thought, this is the future, and all that kind of stuff. But um, anyway, so I thought I would do my own version, my own twist. On the other side of this video, it's mine and June's wedding anniversary. How long, lover? 20 years. 20 fucking years. As the old saying goes, I'd be getting out about now. Who would you want to? No, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> I wanted her to take her up the Asda, but she wouldn't let me. I said, go on, it's our wedding anniversary, let's go up Sil the Asda. Silver wedding anniversary, I'll let you take me to that. Silver wedding, fucking hell, I probably won't be able to get it up then. Me, me fucking weight expanding again. So anyway, um, do you want a glass of beer with me, June? Is it our wedding anniversary? Oh, I, will. No. I will do you a gin later. That never came to fruition. Well, I will do you a gin later, sweetheart. Um, I don't want to get my hands on camera because they're filthy yeah. dirty black. Till June's been gardening. Bought her some plants from. Um, Tesco's, because I want her to take me up the Asda, or uh, take her up the Asda. I bought some potting, what are they potting plants? Bedding plants. Bedding plant. plants, bedding plants. I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not a gardener, I'm not Charlie Dimmock. Um, Tisserie drinks, though. What, yours are? <laughs> um, so anyway, what I'm going to do, folks, is I am going to have a sip of beer. People say, Ooh, why are you drinking Carlin? Because it's cheap, easy, and it doesn't really fucking matter. Um, and me and the Kiwi from next door, we will be reviewing a keg of Charwood Brewery beer. Um, steam, I can't remember what it's called, steam or something. So we've got a big keg, so hopefully me and the Kiwi from next door will be standing outside and um, drinking this keg while just talking shit. June might have a have a half with us so anyway back to the important thing in this video because people are all saying get on with it you fat bastard um what i've got is i've got a nice large nan um my nan's dead so that don't matter so anyway there's the nan look it's a good nan so what i'm going to do folks is i bought a few of the ingredients you've seen them on the uh on the picnic uh, not the picnic um Profile, oh for fuck's sake, thumbnail. Where the fuck did I get picnic from? No idea. Right, so I have got a chicken balti. So what I'm gonna do, normally most people would actually put a tomato base on a pizza, um, but I'm not. I'm going to go with a chicken balti. Yes, folks, chicken balti. <sighs> Open these. June's got a splinter, folks. Bunny and turtles. Oh. Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Splinter. So what I'm going to do, folks? I'm going to spoon. Let's put the camera. Oh, for fuck's sake! I need about three cameras sometimes when I'm doing this because I need to be like Gordon Wanty in his holiday home. So what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to put this all over the uh, naan. There's big lumps of chicken in here. There's big lumps of something else. Um, it's going to be an expensive pizza, isn't it? Well, it is going to be an expensive pizza, but the idea is, June, my sweetheart, my anniversary, whatever it is, um, I don't know. It's just a bit of fun. It's just something to create yourself. I suppose it could be. An expensive pizza but this is um oh for fuck's sake i'm just trying to give people ideas during this terrible terrible time of lockdown not countdown
Right, so there you go, folks. Now I've got a nice load of uh, bolty, um, bolty. For the visually impaired, I've got bolty mix on a large naan bread. I should do you one of these, Steve, if we ever get to meet again. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, Steve, we've got to sort these bloody podcasts out, mate, because, you know, people want them, people are asking about you, and all that kind of stuff, and I'll just tip the fucker on. Right, I'm hoping as well, folks, that this is quite a big, fat nan, uh, and that, uh, mm. Mm. lovely, um, that it will um, absorb the moisture that um, is in it. And, um, right, what shall I put on now, June? Onions, or? Well, I don't know. I've never made a pizza. No, I've never made an Indian pizza. I've heard of an Indian summer. Um, right, folks, I've got chicken tikka skewers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take them off and chop the little bits of chicken skewer. Oh, there's some toothpicks, June. Mm. Ooh, she says. Here, have them as a wedding anniversary gift. I tell you what, June, right, there's a lot of family out there of ours. How many anniversary cards we had? None. But none. But none of us celebrate. No, none of us celebrate. I don't even celebrate fucking birthdays now. I can't see the point in getting fucking celebrating, getting closer to your fucking death, your coffin box, your whatever. So how's it looking, folks? I've got to say, that looks very, very nice. It fucking does. Do you want to try one of these fucking chicken tikka sewers? Well, then why not? Get out of your gob. There we go. Now what, June? I don't know. I'm just wondering if you should have put your veg on before you meet. All right. Anyway, uh, I've got some peppers, folks. Uh, I'm going to sprinkle a few peppers on. Well, obviously, this is all down to your own taste, your own, you know, your own. I'm just trying to give people ideas of what to do um, during this time. Um, <laughs> In the sandwiches you used to be able to buy those Findus um, French bread pizzas that were frozen. Oh, Everybody thought they were marvellous. Did they? Yeah. Mm. So now for the visually impaired, I put a yellow pepper on. Not that the fucking colour matters to you guys. Um, all looks the same to you. Can I say that? What? It all looks. Visually impaired. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it probably doesn't taste the same because the green ones. What if you're blind? Yeah, it don't taste the same though. No, probably it? not. Yeah. Oh, folks, right. I'm going to give a shout out. Oh, fuck! I meant to give a shout out to somebody. Oh, fuck it. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Oh, fuck it. I get carried away do with it. Let's do it later when you do the taste test. Yeah. Right. There's the onion on, folks. So for the visually impaired, I have now put red onion on. Um, now, I have been watching a comedian called Brad Williams. I'm not going to tell you about him, apart from his name, and that he's really funny, and he must be funny, because June actually laughed. In fact, you were having hysterics at one point, weren't you, June? I was. You know what I mean, folks? You know what I mean. Right, that's the pizza on. Um, fucking hell. Right, I've bought some... Now then, men's meals. I put a message out. A lot of people got back to me. And Min's Mill said that I've got to use this. Paneer. Cheese. Paneer traditional Indian cooking cheese. Right. I've had a little bit. And it's rank. There's not a lot of taste to it. But apparently it melts well. Apparently it melts well. So I'm going to sprinkle a few cubes of this cheese. Oh, it's actually, it's actually a cooking cheese. It yeah. is a cooking cheese. And she did say that. Min's Mill did tell me that it was a cooking cheese. Well, maybe that's why it doesn't taste too much at the minute. Yeah, because mozzarella's not a very tasty cheese, is it? It's more tasty than that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, it doesn't taste more than that. Um, right, so I've got my onions, my peppers, my chicken tikka, and now what I'm gonna do, folks, I've got, shall I put that tandoori chicken on? I think you've got enough yeah, on Yeah, I think I've got you? enough on there. I was actually gonna put some of this tandoori chicken tikka stuff on, but I think I've got enough there. I don't want to drown it. I don't want to do what I did with my fucking... Baked beans. Your baked beans. Because like people were saying, you've got too much baked beans on there. Thank you for noting the bloody obvious, folks. Well up, happy. Right, so what I've got now is I've got some premium mango chutney. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spoon a bit of this all over. 
Because I fucking love this stuff. I love Indian food. We love Indian food, don't we? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, folks. Uh, Min's Meals. Go and check her out on YouTube. I have actually done a video with her. It was a food video. Before any stupid comments come through, like they have done. Oh, this smells. June, this chutney smells fucking lovely. Yeah, well, I think you've put enough on there. That's oh. enough. But I like chutney. No, that is enough. Oh, Stop it. Ooh, try that. Oh. Fuck it up. Oh. Hurt me back as June's well. June's hurt back. She was watering the garden before the drought kicks in. That's a meal on its own. Mm, it's nice. Do me some dips. Do some dips, yeah. Do me some poppadoms. Yeah. Uh, right, folks, so there it is. That is the uh, pizza, the nan bread pizza. I'm going to zoom in on it. Look at that booty. Look at that. I Fucking. think it needs more cheese on. Shall we put some more cheese on? Yeah. Yeah, because that will melt on the top, won't it? Do you need some more of this, though? I don't know. I'm going to sprinkle some of this mature cheese on. Go on, then. Just to give it a bit of... Judge it up. Yeah, judge it up. There's June. She's, your hands on the hands on the oh. hole. Oh, I've bleached my hands. They're all right. Yeah, she's bleached her hands. Oh, oh you missed a bit of hair. Right, folks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this in the oven for, say, 10 to 12 to 14 to 15 minutes, like it says on the... Uh... Well, we don't know, do we? We'll no, we don't know. It's done. Because, to be fair, folks, there's my big fat head. Oh, I like the shark there, weren't I? I like Jaws. Zoom in, uh, zoom in. Oh, we need a bigger fucking boat. We need a bigger camera to get his fat moon head on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Missed my mouth. Uh, right, folks. Um, oh, right, folks, in the middle on 12 minutes 8. Got a right, folks. Um, so what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to slide this into the oven and then we will be back in a bit. Laters. Right, folks, back with the second part of this uh, Indian pizza now. And I'm going to do the shout out before I forget, because I forgot on the first bit. It is to Josh CB. Um, he will be 10. I'm not sure you should be watching the kind of stuff I make, mate, with all the swearing I do. Hopefully, it won't affect you as you are growing up and becoming an adult. But happy birthday. Uh, what a rubbish time to have a birthday in the lockdown, eh, June? I know, Ginger had a birthday in the lockdown. Yeah, Ginger had her birthday in the lockdown and she worked, uh, well, she didn't do too bad. She got some ear things for her. Uh, well, she just had money for her birthday, yeah. didn't she? Oh, she just gets money anyway, Ginger. Mm. Well, we'll spoil her when yeah. it's all over. Yeah, we? we'll spoil her. Right, folks, so you're all interested. You're all wondering what happened. My good assistant, Junie Baby, has just passed me the uh, pizza naan, Indian pizza naan, uh, and this is it. I'm just, uh, for the visually impaired, I'm going to uh, move the camera down. What do you think of that? Look at that! Now then, June said we should have used red peppers. I think June could be correct. I dare not say that she would be wrong because it is our wedding anniversary and uh, all that kind of stuff. But what do you think, folks? I don't think that paneer cheese is no. the right cheese to use. No, I don't. Um, it's I, not about to do. I think we need a bit more research in the old uh, cheese department, folks. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to get my chopper out and slice it up. Blimey, stop it, you're making the camera wobble well, you. you there you go. Do you want that's your, oh, look, all that juice and it all oh, gold. Do go you on, want a piece, June? Yeah, can you just cut that in half? You then? want me to cut that in half? Oh, then? It doesn't matter. I'll do it on the plate. It's alright. I'm going to cut mine into a, a wedge. A wedge, a whatever wedge. Not a fan of that cheese. No. It's the cheese. It's a bit squeaky. Oh, fucking hell. I think I need just a knife and a fork. A fork. Joshy's birthday video. I need someone to pick this up with. I think I've put... I think what, again, I've done is I've put too much slop on, haven't I? Are you waiting for my response? Yeah. Um, I don't think you have, actually. Don't you? 
I know you don't eat pizza with a knife and fork, folks. Right now. Well, no, that's not. I think it's, well, I suppose. Oh, fuck it up. It's quite tasty, isn't it? Mmm. There's, um, yeah. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. I mean, to be fair. I still think it could have done with a, a tomato base. Mm. And then the Indian stuff. <laughs> Jean's just held her pizza up to her mouth. It looked like a big smile. Because mm. I cut it across that way. I think there's room for improvement. Mm. But it is good. You've got to try it mm. before you can perfect it, haven't you? Yeah. But the flavour's good. It is good, isn't it? Mm. I know so, this sounds bonkers, and I don't know whether we should have spread the naan bread with some butter or. Yeah, that. Cheese is. It's got more taste now, it's, it's definitely got more taste. To be fair, I think I should have explained to. Well, I did say to Min what I was going to do. Maybe we should have grated it. Mm. But um, folks, please try this at fucking home. If I cut through that, and let me know what you think. I like it. No, I like it. There's room for improvement, I have to mm. say. I think the cheese could have been better. Yeah. But we have got two different, but we needed the mozzarella or something like that. Yeah. Um, let me know what other cheeses to do, Indian cheeses. Because... Or... Who's a whore? Nobody. Well, like I say, perhaps we should have grated it so it melted a little bit. Yeah. It's a bit like that halloumi cheese, isn't it? Yeah, it is a very lot, very lot. A lot like what kind of What kind of talks a very lot? I don't know. One of your gems, I guess. Yeah. Mmm. But I'm impressed. So Bucke, at work, we put this on our WhatsApp work group, Yellow Shift, or Gold Shift, as it normally used to be known. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not as much. I don't know, do we need, did we need as much salt? I don't know. I mean, or is that all that juice that's come from the um, chutney? No, I think it's the vulture. I think I should have... Whatever, it tastes very, very nice. Mm. I was expecting to say, it's shit, but it's nice. It's nice. Mm. Oh, good flavour, it's very good. Yeah. I keep saying that, but... But that's a Morrison's bloody curry food, sweetheart. Morrison's do do. Mm. There's all different ones you could do with this, can't you? And you haven't got to spend as much money as you have. Oh no, I mean I just, I spent... Well to be fair, look that. The chicken skewers were a pound. I think. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Um, I bought the tandoori chicken, but I was going to, I can put that on a wrap. But I bought the peppers, I think the peppers were a pound for three. The chutney was, I think, one pound twenty. Uh, onions, you've always got onions in your house. I wonder if you have like a tandoori sauce on that. Yeah. Because that's more red, isn't it? Yeah. They get a red sauce. Yeah, they do, yeah. Tandoori's more red, isn't it? Well, I don't know, I mean, bolt is quite red, isn't it? Mm. I don't know, but it just tastes nice. I mean, I bought a carton of mushrooms. Or is it a punnet of mushrooms? Or is that strawberries? I think it's a punnet, I don't know. But we I bought them, I think they were a quid. So in theory, lover, it's the naan breads. I think the naan breads are about £1.50. Mm. So when you look at it like that, babe, 
I mean, you're buying a pizza and it's, you know. Well, it must be nice because I've eaten it. Need and some more? No, thank you, I'm all right. I'm not fond of pizza, am I? But I do like that. Well, in theory, lover, mm -hmm. it's not a pizza, is it? It's just a naan bread with an Indian meal tipped on top of it. Yeah. Mmm. I'm going to have to tap one to Sue and Steve. I'm well impressed with this, June. So folks, there you have it, an Indian, June, do you want to put your hands around the chopper and take it out of the way? Thank you. Um, there you have it folks, the Indian naan bread pizza that was given the idea from Bucky at work, but who really had nicked the idea from a BBC cook site, um, website. J folks, do it, um, take a picture, put it on my Twitter or my Instagram and let me see what you come up with. You just tweak it, you just mess about with it, and you just enjoy yourself with food. I'm always trying to think of new ideas. Hopefully you'll come off with these. Um, I'd like to see Chris the Butcher's uh, idea on this. That would be funny. Um, all right, folks, I'm going to leave that there. Laters.